Hi, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to apply cut lines and these cut lines can be used for either Roland printers, Mamaki printers and a whole bunch of other machines. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a vector image like this one. We're also going to have a look at a JPEG image and see how we can do the same thing on that one. So this Im image here has loads of different lines around the outside of it and we're just going to choose the, the, the ones furthest out that we're going to make into our cut line. So to do that I'm just going to select my outer line and you can see it's appearing there. making sure it's the whole of the outside of it. So I've selected my outer line. I'm then also going to select the letters here because I want to add these to the cut line as well. There you go. Now what we want to do is we want to offset this. So we're going to create an offset on our cut line. To do this I'm going to go to Object, I'm going to go to Path, I'm going to go to Offset Path. That will give us this box here. So I can offset the path as much as I want, as you can see. If I press Preview, it will actually show you the offset as well. I can increase or decrease that offset. And I want to make it quite nice and big, because I want to actually include the root beer into the, into the main logo as well, so it creates one sticker. This is quite a good tool as well. We can create either a square edge to our job or we can round them off. Rounding your cut line off will create better cut results. I'm going to press OK and that will create that for us. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Pathfinder and I'm going to unite these lines. So I'm going to go to Window, I'm going to go down to Pathfinder and you'll see we've got this one here which is Unite. I'm going to click on that one and that creates one big image out of that for us. I need to obviously get rid of this center section here because we're just looking at the outside line. So I'm going to click on the center bit and I'm just clicking on it until it selects it. I'm going to press backspace and that'll get rid of it. We can also get rid of these inner little dots as well. We want to make sure there's nothing like this on the job because obviously we don't want it to accidentally cut those. Once I've got my main shape, I'm then going to click on the outline. I'm going to get rid of the fill and then we're going to use our cut contour line. To get this, we're going to go to Window, Swatch Libraries and we've got Roland Verse Works. I'll open that one up and you can see we've got cut contour there. This Roland Versaworks palette can be found on the Roland Versaworks disk and it is also something that's widely available to download on the internet. If you don't have this, you can also make a spot colour and call it cut contour, capital C U T, capital C O U N T O U R, and that's all one word. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click on my outline. There we go. I can then come out of my layers and my groups and you'll see that we've now got an offset path around our job. If we wanted to now do this on a JPEG, obviously you don't always get fantastic images from customers. So we've got this JPEG here and as you can see it's not particularly great quality. What I always do first is I copy and paste one of these so I can use that as my original. I'm then going to image trace this. So at the top here we've got image trace. This will always come up when you bring a JPEG in. I've traced the image. And now I'm going to press expand. Expanding it will now give us all of the, the lines and all of the, the little uh, nodes within the job, as you can see. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of any excess boxes like this big one here. 
And you can see I can drag that away and it actually gives me those lines that I'm looking for already. So in theory, I can actually get rid of all of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy. So press shift. I'm going to copy all of that. I'm going to delete everything. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that back again. And as you can see now, we've got our root, our beer, and our main logo here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to object, back to path. I'm going to put an offset path on again. I'm going to go to preview, and you can see it's giving us that offset again. For this one, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because we've got our trademark logo on there as well. And I want to include that. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to go back to Unite. I'm going to remove our inside cover color. I'm going to go back to Window. So I'm going to go back to Window. I'm going to go back to my Swatch Libraries to find my Roland Verseworks again. And I'm going to change that outer color to that magenta again. I can then get rid of any inside text. I can also get rid of this out of box. I'm now going to bring in my copy from earlier and then I can line it up in there. Obviously this line's a bit bigger and that's because I wanted to include this trademark again. So that's how you create cut lines in Illustrator for Mamaki, Roland and many other um, print and cut printers as well.